So stay with me, okay? All right, so let's look. Obviously, I'm going to write this in long division format. Read that problem for me, Achilles. Right. Okay, guys. So, once again, I've got to decide, is 4,859 going to be, need to be decomposed or broken apart? Okay. So, is 23 smaller than 4? No. So, 23 can't go into 4. Is 23 smaller than 48? So, can 23 go into 48? Yes. Yes. So, what's my new division problem? 48. There we go. 48 divided by 23. Okay, I could change 23 to 20, sure, and 48 to 40, I think 40, okay, and that's going to give me 2. 2 is my starting point of how many 23s I think are in what? 48, so I'm going to start. 23 times 2 is going to be 46, that's pretty close. So I think that works. So, how many groups of 23 do we think are in 48? Two. Looking this way, Erin. Two times 23 is 46. 48 minus 46 is two. Okay, now, you know that I need to what? Bring down. Somebody in my room said bring down five and nine. Yeah. And I said no, because you got to bring down one digit at a time. So I'm going to bring this five down. Okay, now. What's my new division problem? 25. Divided by 23. 23. How many 23s are in 25? One. one, because I know two 23s is 46. So I'm going to put my one right there. What is one times 23? 23. Subtract and bring down the last digit. Okay? How many? 23s is in 29. One. One. Because what's two 23s? Because so that's more than 29. So I can't do two 23s. It's got to be how many? One. one. Hey, Savion, so remember what I said? One 23. So what is one times 23? 23. 23. Subtract it out. Six. And that is my remainder. So final answer is 211 remainder. Six. Okay, I want you to write problem B in long division format. Problem B. Okay, what's the first thing I've got to decide? If I'm going to break apart this number or not, right? Okay. Can 52 go into 4? No. Can 52 go into 43? No. no. Can 52 go into 436? Yes. yes. Why can't 52 go into 43? Because it's too big. Okay, so what's my new problem? 436 divided by 52. Write that down. And now... That I've got my new problem, I'm at a step to what? <laughs> estimate. <laughs> estimate, okay? Always round my divisor first. 52. 50. And 436. I could do 450 or I could do 400. Either one. What y'all want to do? 450? Okay, let's try 450. Nine. Nine. Okay, so that means I'm going to try what? 52, 52 times, times 9 and see if it's close to what? 436. 436. Good, Elijah. Good. So I'm going to do 52 times 9 mm -hmm. work. and see if it's close to 436. Okay. okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, what is 52 times 9, Gabrielle? 458. 458. Do y'all agree? No. 400 what? Y'all can't hear. I said 468. Oh. 468. Do y'all agree? Yeah. Okay, so can I do... I can do 468. Yes. No, no, no. Why not? Okay, so what do I need to try? 52 times 8. Because 52 times 9 is too much. Yes.
Yeah, 950 is going to be 45 or 450. 850 is going to be closer, I think. Yeah. Okay. Did y'all get 416? Yes. I did too. So that works. So how many 52s are in 436? Eight. Where, raise your hand if you can tell me where the 8 goes, Deshaun. Above the 6. Y'all have been the best group at knowing where to put those numbers on top. And I'm so proud. So 400, it goes above the 6. And what is 852s? 416. And then I? All right, what'd y'all get? 20. 20. Should have gotten 20. 20. Okay. After I subtract, what is my next step, Aaron? I got to bring the eight down. All right. Now I've got a new division problem. What is it? Divided by 52. I, so I'm going to take 208. And I'm just finding spots, guys. That's what you're going to have to do. Divided by 52. 52 is going to round to 50. 50 and 208. 200. Yeah, 200. Three, four. Four. Okay, so I'm going to try what? 50 times four. And let's see what we get, guys. Mario, what's 52 times 4? 208. Right on the word. Money. 208. So how many groups of 52 are in 208? Four. And i got to have that 4 up there. 4 times 52 is 208. Subtract out. Final answer. 84 groups of 52. Okay, now, just like in this problem, if I want to check it, raise your hand if you could tell me what I would need to do, Achilles. And what should it equal? 4,300. There's no remainder to what? Add to it, is there? There's no remainder to add to it, correct? Okay, I want you to do problems C and D. 